So I was cleaning off my bench, getting ready for this video. And I didn't quite finish cleaning it off. And I started putting stuff on for the video. And I think there is like 21, 22, or 23 items here on my bench. So please guess I want to play a game. how many of these items are now banned under the new Illinois Assault Weapons Band law, so-called Assault Weapons Ban. And then what do you think when I say sandbag? What comes to your mind? Put that in the comment below, I'm curious. And let's get into the video. The answer to that question, by the way, is not everything that's on the table is banned. There are some things there that are legal, and we'll go through that. But let's go through the first obvious example. This is my Mach 12 clone attempt. It does not have an adjustable stock. It does not have a flash hider. It does not have a bayonet lug but it is a semi-automatic rifle that feeds from a box magazine. It is banned. You might be surprised to learn that the magazine on the right is a 10 round 50 uh, Beowulf magazine, but it can also take 30 rounds of 223, so that is banned. On the left is a 10 round AICS mag, that one is legal, it goes into a bolt action rifle. Multicam, that looks uh, pretty scary. That should be banned, you would think, but no. For now, that military grade Safari Land holster is legal, and that military grade tourniquet is still legal. But with the hard-on that some people have for banning body armor, I would not be surprised that they try to ban military grade anything, including medical equipment. But for now, we're good to go. Wow, we actually have a weapon of war here. This one killed Nazis. Unfortunately, it did not kill communists. It did not go to Korea, from what I can tell, stayed in Europe. You would think a weapon of war would be banned, but during the debate on the Illinois Senate floor, this was called out specifically as being okay. I have my doubts because this could be modified in theory to take a box magazine that would hold more than 10 rounds. Is this legal? Is this not legal? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they come back just like the ATF and kill your dog over this. Well, you don't get to choose which laws you comply with in the state of Illinois. Let's be clear. All right, now we're just getting silly, right? Surely a 1022 is not banned. Well, I would like to point your attention to the front of this gun, right by the bipod. And tell me if this looks like the following. A shroud attached to the barrel or that partially or completely encircles the barrel, allowing the bearer to hold the firearm with the non-trigger hand without being burned, but excluding a slide that encloses the barrel. Now, Victor company here specifically put little dimples on the front of that stock so you can hold it comfortably so your hand doesn't slip and the same dimples that are in the pistol grip down there. To me, this firearm is banned. I'm not saying it was the best bill, but that okay. was the best bill they could get out at that particular is? time. I actually don't know what a barrel oh, shroud is. Okay. I think it's, it's your the shoulder thing that goes up. No, it's not. I, I think you know where this is going, but any part or combination of parts designed or intended to convert a firearm into an assault weapon, including any combination of parts from which an assault weapon may be readily assembled if those parts are in the possession or under the control of the same person. From left to right, Magpul PRS light stock, stripped AR upper, AR lower parts kit for a 308. Uh, in the middle is a kid uh, kit for a 1022 for the mag uh, magazine plunger with a spring, AR 15 charging handle. AR three-way buffer kit and a 
some random handguard I have laying around for an AR. All of those parts go on assault weapons. All those parts can be assembled into an assault weapons if I have more of them. So they're all banned. So in case anybody ever tells you they're not coming for your guns, they're coming for your guns. If you bend your handguard, if you're lower, one of your springs breaks, or if pin falls out, you lose it, your charging handle breaks, whatever, you cannot legally fix that gun. It's down. Might as well be taken from you. What do we got here? We have two Hoag stocks. The one up front comes from a Remington 700. That one's legal. That's a bolt action rifle. You're good to go. The one in the back, that one's 410 22. And as we was, we had gone over, the front is designed to be gripped and not burn your hand when you're gripping it. So that Hoag stock back there, also straight to jail. And we're not done yet. On the right is a tracked one to eight and an arrow mount. And on the left is a retro Brownell scope four by 20. And that mounts to a carry handle. That one is an A4 style detachable carry handle. It can also be mounted on an A1. But I don't know of any guns besides ARs that take carry handles. I do not know of any, I guess more specifically, bolt action rifles that you can mount a carry handle to. Well, I would say my wife tells me I'm wrong all the time. So, I'm pretty sure, I guess it's a gray area, but I would, I could see the case being made for the optic setup on the left being banned because it, it is an assault weapons part that can be used to make an assault weapon. You need to be able to aim. That's what the, the carry handle is for, to aim through it. So if you want to buy a retro scope to mount on your AR, I think you're shit out of luck. The one on the right, even though that is an AR height mount, you could mount that on the bolt action if you wanted to. That is not exclusive to an AR. So I think that's still legal. Um, you know, my reaction, of course, is this is a constitutional bill. Wrong. That is absolutely wrong. Proved over and over again. Wrong. The this can't get any better, can it? Well, here we go. Manufacturers, possesses, sells, or offers to sell, purchase, manufacture, import, transfer, or any device, or use any device, part, kit, tool, accessory, or combination of parts that is designed to and functions to increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic firearm above the standard rate of fire for semi-automatic firearms that is not equipped with that device, part, or combination of parts. To me, that sounds like it could be an upgraded trigger. If you're going from a mil spec trigger to say an SSAE or a trigger tech or whatever, whatever you like. Or it could mean like a binary trigger or a force reset trigger. So tools, those are tools. If I was to be working on a AR lower changing the trigger, I would be using those tools. So are those illegal? Well, remember that anybody who doesn't comply, there are consequences for that. No, I don't know about you guys, but I like to be comfortable when I work. So the only reason why I have that vice is to hold that, that, that block right there. So when I work on an AR, upper or lower, I have something to stick it into. So is that vice illegal? What about the table? I bought this table so I can work on my guns on it, including my AR. So is the table illegal? And I'm just gonna show it to you guys, but saving the best for last. Apparently sandbags are also banned. I'll show you the bill where it says that sandbags are banned. 
Um, I Google sandbags. I was thinking shooting bag, but there's also sandbags like when there is a flood coming and you want to protect your house. There are sandbags used in the movie industry to hold to hold down camera tripods, things like that. And there are shooting bags. I have no idea what a sandbag is that would be illegal. How it's illegal. Maybe I'm just not with it anymore. But please let me know what I'm missing. I'll also post a link to a channel, Todd's channel. He does a lot of work with suing the shit out of this godforsaken state. Um, and he provides a lot of updates on what's going on. So I suggest you give him a follow and uh, join us in this painful journey that hopefully will be over soon.